Assalamu alaikum students, hope you are doing good. This is unit 9, Science and Exploration. Let's start with the topic Islamic Golden Age. Islam has spread across a large part of the world by about 750 CE. In 9th century, the Muslim ruler al mamun collected the books from all over the world and put them in the House of Wisdom. House of Wisdom was basically a huge library in Baghdad. Scientists and other scholars met here to study. al mamun paid scholars to translate the books into Arabic so the Muslim scientists could learn from ancient sciences. And the payment of translating a book was the weight of the book in gold. Islamic world has had one of the first universities. In 9th century, it began as Madassa of Mosque in Fes, Morocco. Muslim scholars. Let's talk about few Muslim scholars and their inventions. The mathematician Al Khwarizmi studied at the House of Wisdom in Baghdad in 9th century. He invented algebra and decimal point. Ibn Sina, also known as Avicenna, studied at the House of Wisdom in 11th century. He wrote a famous book on medicine, and some universities still used it as a textbook 600 years later. Astrolabe. You have seen this instrument in your book. It was basically an uh, instrument made in Iraq in 10th century. It was used to measure, measure the earth and the heights of star. It helped the travelers to find their way across the desert. It also helped the people to work out the prayer times for different places. Science in Europe In the 12th century, European scientists started to study the work of ancient sciences. They also learned from the Muslim scientists and they did experiments. Next four centuries were a time of discovery and invention in Europe. In 1543, there were two important books written on sciences. One book was written by Copernicus. He was, he was a Polish scientist who wrote that the stars were fixed and the earth and other planets move around the earth. You can see uh, a map of the solar system which Copernicus, uh, Copernicus drew from his book. Another important book was written by another scientist, Vesalius from Flanders. The scientist Vesalius from Flanders wrote a book about the human body. He dissected the bodies to learn about them. You can also see a drawing from the human brain from his book he wrote. Astronomy. Basically, astronomy means the scientific study of the objects exist in nat naturally in the space. You can also see the study of sun, moon, planets, stars, galaxies, gas, dust, and other non-earthly bodies. In 1608, a spectacle maker in Netherlands called Lippershey invented the first telescope when he looked through two lenses, one in front of another. Then in, nine, in 1609, the Italian scientist Galileo made a telescope. He, have, he also made a drawing to, uh, and wrote about what he saw in the sky. He showed that Copernicus had been right to see that Earth and planets orbit the sun and the stars stay still. Churches, church leaders made Galileo a prisoner at his home for the rest of his life, but he carried out on his work because basically, they basically taught in the church that the moon, sun, and other planets and stars moved around the earth. Galileo. Let's talk about some contribution of Galileo in the field of science. He did an experiment to prove that heavy and lighter objects fall with the same speed. He threw two cannonballs from Pisa Tower and proved that both fell with the same speed. Galileo, another important experiment he did to prove that the light takes time to travel. He made a type of thermometer containing little ball of different weights. They moved up and down in a liquid when it got warmer and colder. Explorers. Explorers basically are the persons who explore new or unfamiliar areas. European traders began to sail across the ocean as well as across the seas. They went to China for silk and to the Indian subcontinent for the spices. Magellan, he was also an explorer. In 1519, the Magellan sailed across the Atlantic Ocean 
with five ships for the king of Spain. He was trying to get to Asia by sailing west instead of east. He crossed the Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean, but then he was killed. The others sailed on, but after three years, only one ship returned. So you can say the ship was on the, the ship which was returned was Victoria. Maps. The ancient map makers of the Islamic Golden Age were scholars who did not go to the sea. They basically learned from the ancient maps. In 15th and 16th centuries, the rulers of the European countries sent scholars to sea with explorers and traders to make new maps of far off lands. They wanted to trade with them, they also wanted to rule them. Among these countries, they were, these were the five countries Portugal, Spain, Britain, France, and Netherlands. They all wanted to find new lands to rule. So you can also see a map, French map of the world from 1550. Thank you.